Hi everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. I hope you're doing well. Well, Art Bryles is not returning to college football. It was announced he was going to be the new offensive coordinator at Grambling State. Now he has decided to pull out of that, stating that he doesn't want to be distraction for the football program. In other words, they ask him to pull out because the heat on Grambling State for making that selection of the former Baylor head coach had to be intense, and it should be. Now look, I know Art Bryles didn't act alone in everything that went wrong at Baylor. There was an entire culture there that should remain troubling to anyone associated with that school. There was so much going on in campus that the lone argument for football not getting punished, the lone argument for football not getting punished alone was that everyone is sexually abusing females at, at Baylor. That was it. That was it. It wasn't just the athletes, it was everyone. But here's the issue. The athletes were involved, particularly football, and some hideous things that have been claimed. And from all accounts, Coach Bryles just kind of ignored that. Now, I know folks at Baylor are going to have different thoughts on this. I know they're going to defend him. And I just got to say this. You need to stop fighting that fight. Because at the end of the day, you're standing on the side of sexually abusing female college students. Because I don't think there's any question that was going on. And Art Bryles either didn't know about it, which is questionable, or he knew about it and ignored it because it wasn't good for football. And that, that's disgusting. And maybe there was a place in time where that was allowed. Maybe there was a time in college football where the players like Animal House could just do whatever they wanted. But nobody sends their daughters to school, to college, let alone a religious institution like Baylor, and expects them to be the target for sexual harassment, sexual abuse. And yet it appears it was rampant on the campus. And when your lone argument that football didn't get punished by the conference or the NCAA, and I think there's scars on both of them for not doing it, is that the whole campus had sexual abuse allegations, not just football? That's a sad day. Art Bryles was a leader of young men, and he led them down the wrong path. And for that, I don't think he should ever coach football again.